Good morning and welcome back to another video. As you can see, we were driving, but we did not explain you where we were going. We actually have arrived in Sigulda and they have an event called Plant Parade. It sounds kind of funny, but the whole concept is that they will have a lot of plants from all over Latvia and all kinds of different plants as well. So we came to visit. As you can see also, we have Evie with us because we will be staying the night, but Let's go outside because I'm really excited to see what they have and what we'll get. I don't know how much we're going to film because we also have to think what we want and see what they have. So yeah, let's take Evie with us so she doesn't stay in the car and see what we're going to get. Let's go Evie. Let's go. We have this handcrafted buggy. She's going to come inside. No, don't go outside. Okay, let's go. In the previous clip, we arrived. <coughs> Poo -poo. <coughs> so, as I was saying, you saw yesterday we arrived and we unloaded everything, but because it was already evening, we brought everything in the barn and now we have everything out of the bags and everything organized because some of the other things are also David's aunt because we also bought some for her. So that's all that is ours, plus some strawberries that we have left there because we wanna first do the field and then we're gonna bring them. Let's move to the things that you can see here. Over there we have a white flower. I'm gonna put the names underneath here because I forgot them, I'm gonna read them and just write them underneath. So there we have a beautiful uh, white bush, it's just gonna become a big bush and those ones as you can see they will fall down, so it's gonna be like a white big bush. Then we have some other three beautiful flowers. We're mostly looking for things that will grow more than once. We don't wanna just buy a beautiful flower that will grow once and then we have to plant a new one. And we're looking for things that can grow outside and maybe a bit in the shadow because we have some plants for behind the house. So those are our beauty ones. Then we have gotcha berry bush. Then we have tree. A gotcha berry tree. Tree bush. Mini I guess. tree. It's not very big. Yeah. And then we have another one called citrons. Lemon something. Sem something. It's extremely healthy. We're looking for healthy berries and something that we can benefit from. So it's like very small, healthy berries. And the next one is a kiwi wine. It's growing like a um, like a grape, but it's a kiwi. Uh, Northern Kiwi, I think it's called. It's like small kiwis, I guess. <laughs> and then we have two different bushes of red currants. One of it is very, very dark red currants. And then we put another red currant because we only have one bush. So we decided also to buy another one. And here's the most expensive part, the blueberries. We're gonna try to grow some blueberries. This one, the big one, 
is an early bloopers called Patriot. Patriot, I think that's how it's called. And then we, she gave us three different types of later blueberries because we said everything is gonna come all at once in June, July. So we decided to get some bloopers that will come later so we don't get overwhelmed with berries. And I think they're called blue gold or blue crop. It's two different, blue, blue gold, blue crop and toro. and toro. So those are three different. She gave us just to have a bit bigger variety. And then we bought also grapes. For the grape house behind, you're gonna see it in one of the next videos what we're gonna do, but we got grapes for that and grapes for another project. But yeah, we have here some grapes that have a taste of a wild strawberry. Most of some of the things are also a bit modified to grow here and taste, but not like badly modified in a good way, like with bud crafting and all those things. So it's not something chemically all or unnaturally. Um, so it's not chemically or badly modified with any chemicals. Here we have gaile, which are green uh, grapes. Then we have some bit red ones, they're called Teresa. <laughs> then we have Ted, I think this Teresa has no um, seed, no bones. And this one is a dark one, Teres. This one is Lepa Yacintos. And this one is Jackie Leah. <laughs> so we got a bit of variety of everything, like dark, very dark ones, green ones, red ones, and a bit more darker red ones. All of those are modified to be able to grow outside in our climate, they're not greenhouse, so they're going to be perfectly fine for growing outside. And then we also got something else modified. It is something in between raspberry and blueberry. They call it black jewel, so it's like a black raspberry. So we're going to see how that tastes. It was kind of freaking, kind of cool to have, so we got also two of these ones. And for beauty, we also got two rose bushes. I wanted to, we went back the second day and I wanted for my birthday a flower. So we got two rose bushes. We didn't want to get roses that grow, that need a lot of maintenance. So we decided to go with this one. Those he said don't need any work, just plant them. And they're going to grow like a garden, like the ones they have in the parks, the big, big rose bushes. So that's exciting. This one is white and pinky and this one is more pinky. So we also got some rose bushes for my birthday. And last but not least, we also got oregano, uh, no, no, timian and lemon timian and peppermint, chocolate peppermint. So that's also exciting. They actually taste really, really nice. And as I said, those are also modified. They're going to be able to grow outside. They're not like the Greek oregano and timian. They do smell and taste the same, but they're able to grow perfectly fine outside. So let's go plant everything. It's going to be another part of the work and hopefully it's gonna give us a lot, a lot of happiness, beauty and food. So let's go. Here we are going to plant our blueberries, our blueberry bushes. We actually brought some acidic soil because our soil is way too, I don't know, alkaline heavy. The pH level, is it alkaline? I think it is. pH level is way too high. We have it six, seven some places. So we want to reduce it to four. So we're going to put a full bag. They said half a bag per bush. We're going to put a full bag just so it lasts longer. So we're going to put a full bag all filled in mix it up with a bit with the dirt that we have locally here which is good with minerals it's just way too alkaline so we're gonna mix it all up and then we're gonna put some straw on top just so it doesn't dry out so fast and it keeps moisture and also it doesn't uh, destroy the uh, acidity because the acidity it needs some sort of wood chip something on top just to keep it going you know keep it strong so let's get started hopefully the blueberries grow they are hard to grow here because this is not a swamp where they're used to growing so let's try yeah
So the blueberries are done. It takes us a lot longer. We did start the day pretty late, but it took us a lot longer than we expected. It was a lot of cleanup here. We cleaned up all the land here. We made it all nice and flat and we had a lot of dirt. So we had to remove a lot of dirt and move it to another place to fill in some holes. So it was a lot of work for that reason only. So And we also had a lot of nettles that was like covered in nettles. That was like yeah. a nettles heaven everywhere. Yeah, so we pulled all the nettles out. It was a huge mess. It was two hours of cleaning up yeah. nettles. But uh, now it's all beautiful and tomorrow we're gonna finish up the next plant. So see you yeah. tomorrow. So we have planted everything. We went a bit overboard and we started doing some beauty. We completely cleaned all of this area up and added some extra dirt and we brought rocks here. So we went a bit more beautiful. We want to start making maybe the place start to look a bit better. But yeah, we have planted everything. But a lot of things that we didn't plant are going to be in upcoming videos. We have a lot more projects planned and you're going to see those later. I hope we showed enough of the event. We did not have a lot of time to film it. We were really excited to buy everything. And it was Desper's birthday, so it was like kind of event holiday kind of. So we wanted to relax a bit for and just day. take it easy and enjoy with together with a lot of stress of looking for things, but it was really fun. And planting all the things and having them grow, like succeed is gonna be really satisfying. And it's very nice to have your own garden, kind of your own paradise in theory. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and we're gonna see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>